Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build video on my channel. My name is Ashley for those of you who have not met me yet and I do Sims 4 base game build videos on Mondays on my channel. So if you don't have any expansion packs, no game packs, no stuff packs, don't worry because you just need the base game to use my builds and you're all good. So today we are building a kind of tiny modern home. So I got a lot of requests to do a kind of grid restricted build, kind of like the 4x4 build challenge or the 5x5 five five build challenge, that kind of thing. So I wanted to start off a little bit easier and do a 5x10 house. So it's kind of like a long and skinny house. I will try and do a harder one like the 4x4 four four or 5x5 five five in the future, but I just wanted to kind of... I just want to make it easier on myself is what I'm trying to say. It, it's really hard to do a really square, small house. So I wanted to start off a little bit easy and do a five by 10. So just a little bit more room. And then eventually I'll work my way into making it even more tiny. So this sits on a 20 by 15 lot and costs around, I think 80,000 simoleons. So it is actually really kind of on the expensive side considering how um, small it is. Um, it has one bedroom and one bathroom and it can fit two sims because there's a double bed. I did also kind of cheat and make it two levels. So I don't know if you're allowed to do that in these kind of like challenge ones or whatever. So let me know down below below if I'm actually allowed to have two floors when I do the 5x5 five five challenge. Um, obviously this one I can do whatever I want, but when I actually do the actual 5x5 five five build challenge, am I allowed to have two floors? Please let me know so I don't mess it up when I actually try and do it. So the inside of this house is quite red and it is quite colorful. I mean it's not that colorful. I have a lot of like black and white and gray and then I just have a big pop of red. But for the example, for example, the kitchen, I usually love doing kind of neutral or all white kitchens and I have a red kitchen. So it is a little bit shocking for me. So I definitely want to experiment a little bit more with bright colors. Um, because I don't usually do that. I have really, really neutral color schemes most of the time. Not to say I never use color, I mean I do all the time. It's just like I tend to stay away from it, but it's fine. I think it still turned out fine. I do like the vibe of the house. It's super modern inside and yeah, I think it's kind of cute. Okay, so let's get into it. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you enjoy it. So it has been a little bit since I last told you guys one of my Jen stories. And if you guys are new and you don't know, uh, Jen was my roommate in university. And I had a really, really bad roommate. Uh, she was terrible. She was probably the worst roommate uh, ever. And I call her Jen. That's not her real name. I just called her Jen for privacy reasons. So if you want to hear more of my crazy roommate stories, don't forget to check out my other speed builds. Uh, I talk about her quite a bit. So I didn't forget about her, don't worry. And we are actually nearing the end of the Jen stories, by the way. Um, the, the story does come to an end eventually. Um, so that will definitely be saved for later videos, of course. But just so you know, like, there is a conclusion to this Gen saga. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Okay, so on to the story. So I lived in an apartment and we lived on the 11th floor. So one day I was going up the elevator to my apartment and in the elevator I started to hear um, like the alarm, the beeping alarm from somebody's smoke detector. So it was really, really loud. So I was like, oh, haha, ha, that's funny. Like somebody's, um, somebody left their toast in for too long or something like that. It's no big deal. Um, so as I got to the 11th floor, I started to approach my door to my apartment. I realized that the smoke detector alarm sound was coming from my apartment. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Like, I wonder, like, who did that? Like, we've never really had a problem with um, the alarm going off ever. Um, so I was like, okay, let's see, like, what's going on. So I enter the room. And as soon as I open the door, my vision is just completely clouded because there is just smoke that had filled the entire apartment that like you couldn't see through, um, through the room. Like, you couldn't really see past anything. And I was like, what? Like, what's going on? Like, I thought that somebody had done, like, a gas bomb or, like, set off fireworks in my apartment or something because it was completely, completely smoky. Like, you could not see. And I was so confused because I lived with three other people, right? So I was like, what's, like, what's going on here? And then I entered the room a little bit more to, like, kind of in a panic. And then I see by the stove, I see Jen. And she is just standing there, surrounded in a fog of smoke, standing by the stove, and on the stove is a corn, 
a corn on the cob that she was grilling on her pan. And the corn on the cob was completely black. It was 100% charred black. There was no yellow on it whatsoever. It was, you couldn't, you couldn't, like, even, it didn't resemble corn anymore. It was just completely black and charred over, and there was just smoke coming out of it. And that is what filled the room with the smoke. And she was just standing there. She just stood there in, like, complete silence, didn't say anything, didn't move, like, she was completely still. And at that point, like, a million things were going through my head, first of all, because at first I thought someone, like, set off fireworks in my room, and then now I see her just standing there, and, like, the first thing that I thought was, this girl is insane, and she is trying to burn our place down, because she wasn't doing anything about it, she was just standing there like something from the grudge, and it turns out, the stove wasn't even off yet. She hadn't even turned the element off. So the smoke was still coming from the corn and the pan. Like, your first instinct would be to A, take the pan off of the hot thing, and then B, turn off the stove. So she didn't do either of that. She just stood there. And then all of the windows were closed, and I was just like, this girl is actually crazy. Like, what is she doing? She is actually trying to burn the place down. So, um... Then I go and my roommate, who like who is my friend, my other roommate who's my friend, she comes out of her room because her door was closed and she's like, what's going on? And then we start freaking out and then we open up all the windows and then I open the door. I have to like prop the door open. And the whole time, Jen didn't say a single word. She just stood there in silence as as, like I went and turned off the stove and I like opened the door and then people who lived across from us came out of their room they could smell all the smoke and it was honestly really really scary because she didn't say a single word she never said a single word the whole time she wasn't even slightly panicked by the situation and I was like okay yeah this girl is crazy and then the worst part about it is after we you know cleaned the place up and let all the smoke exit the room and stuff that pan with that burnt black charcoaled corn on the cob stayed on the stove she didn't throw it out she just left it there for about a week i kid you not because none of us cleaned it up because like it's not our mess to clean up so seriously she tried to burn the place down and she is crazy all right so that's all the time we have for our tiny modern house today you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you liked what you saw today don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you thought about it and if this is our first time meeting don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be friends or if you want to see more weekly sims 4 base game build videos i upload these videos once per week at the same time every week so i will see you guys all next week bye everyone